Hey, Vapor. Um, it's going all right, Anthony L. I just got too much fucking trouble with people on my fucking channel. You know, too much fucking people causing drama. You know, people, I, I, I don't have anything else to say to people that causes drama with me. All I can say is that they don't stop. They're going to go to jail. That's all I gotta say. What happened to the iPhone sticker? Um, what? The iPhone looks better? iPhone looks better than the cat and the dog and the, and the kitty cat? Which one looks better? The iPhone or the animal? Well, I know the people that's bothering me and they caught, they supposedly was supposed to quit bothering me. You know, I, I haven't bothered them and they're still coming on my fucking YouTube channel causing drama. I can change it back anytime. You know, I can change it back anytime. You know, it's just what it is, guys. You know, it's what it is. You know, people don't want to leave people alone. You know what I mean? People don't want to fucking leave people alone. You know, that's that's just the bad thing. You know, you can tell the I think the iPhone is, is under it. You know, the iPhone cover is up under the back of it. So it's no big deal. I was going to just whatever, keep it or change it or whatever, you know. I got all these posters from Pet Smart and Petco two or three years ago. Um, what's the funny thing is the people had to come on my channel tonight and run their fucking goddamn mouth. Just like I said, I know who it was and two of them showed up on my YouTube channel tonight running their mouth. I don't know if it's the real people or it's just trolls copying their names down and trying to get me to get get them uh, get them and put them in jail. I don't know if it's the real people that's causing the drama or it's somebody just wanting me to put the people in jail. You know, I just want the fucking people to leave me alone. You know, I'm in the process of selling everything out of my house, guys. No joke. My Hot Wheel collection, I'm going to sell it for whatever I can get for it. Uh, all my Fast and Furious cars, everything. I don't care. I'm I'm going to leave from Weibel. I leave from Weibel, and I ain't got to worry about dumbass cocksucking bitches causing trouble with me. I then told my mom after I got off earlier... I called my mom and I told her that they was up to causing drama again. She said, what's their fucking number? She said, I'll call them up and tell them if they don't leave you alone, we we're going to have to go to court. You know, you know, I don't, I don't cause drama with nobody, guys. These people just want to add shit on. They want to fucking add shit on. They want to still fucking cause trouble. Look, they ain't my friends no more. They're my fucking enemies. They need to stay off my YouTube channel. And quit stalking me. Because my mom, my mom just said that she would call them up and tell them that they need to leave me alone. My mom's not going to keep playing with them, you know. I have to say, they ain't got money like my mom and my brother's got. Who in the hell else would it be coming on my YouTube channel, wanting to just come on my channel and, I'm coming over to your house, I'm coming over. You know, these fucking people are dumb. They don't know, they don't know when to quit. You know, yeah, if it ain't Junior, it's it's other people, you know. Have you confronted them outside of you? Yeah, yeah, I've confronted them outside. They're the ones that called the fucking fire marshal on my, on, on my brother and me. Yeah, they're the ones that called the fire marshal on me and my brother. And my, my brother already said they don't want to fuck with him. He's already said they do not want to fuck with him, you know. I haven't said shit about them as far as mentioning their name. I haven't even brung up their name. I just said that people need to quit fucking with me. They know who they are. And they won't quit bothering me, you know. They won't quit fucking bothering me, you know. I eat turkey sandwich, turkey sandwich, and and chick and chicken. You know, I have not did one fucking goddamn thing to these fucking people. You know, they just won't stop fucking with me. So if they don't quit, I reckon some uh, some legal action is going to be taken there. And let and, and legally they can't do shit to me, and I can't do shit to them. It's a civil matter. You know, you can't you can't put somebody in jail just because you say somebody's name legally. You can't put nobody in jail, you know, can't put nobody in jail because you said John or James or whatever. You can't, you can't put somebody in jail just because you say some fucking body's name. That ain't how it works. But what's funny is I got communicating threats on my phone. Yeah, since I changed my phone number, I have not had nobody call my phone. There's nobody called my phone and, and started anything because they don't nobody know my phone number. But then when they said what they said today on my YouTube channel, they, one of the persons said, 
We're coming for you. I, I don't know why you're coming for me. I haven't done shit to you. You're just jealous because I won't be your fucking, uh, your buddy no more. You're mad because you won't, you, you, you're mad because you can't get no more freebies out of me. No more free candy, no more free anything, you know. They're just pissed off. That's all it is, you know? They're just fucking, just can't get over their self. And I, I won't never be their friend ever again. I won't never be their friend ever again. And they just as well fucking quit stalking me and harassing me, you know? You know, I'm, it's like this. They want, to sh they want to shut my YouTube channel down. That's all it is. They want me to shut my YouTube channel down and they can go fucking fuck themselves because I'm not shutting my channel down. If they don't want to hear me talk, stay the fuck off of YouTube. That's that's what my mom said a while ago. She said, why is it they can't just fucking leave you alone and stay the fuck off your goddamn YouTube channel? You know, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it why people want to still fucking bother me. You know, I ain't give them no fucking attention. I talk about girls on drugs. That ain't got nothing to do with them fucking people. I talk about girls that's on drugs and people that's fucked me over. That's got nothing to do with their fucking business. That's got nothing to do with their fucking business, guys. Straight up. It don't matter, Scully. My life is my life. Seriously. I already say I'm gonna just have to quit coming on YouTube. I see already now I'm just gonna have to quit coming on YouTube. It's never gonna get any better for me. I just would just stay off YouTube. You know, prison mate. Who is Bunny? Somebody's getting ready to get banned right now. I don't know who that person, Bunny, Peachy, prison mate. What, what, what are you coming on here trying to cause drama? Why are you talking about Mike in prison? Prison Mike. What are you trying to say? He's not in no fucking prison. Yes, I am. What? Hey, Mike. Well, I have to say, there's Mike right there. You need to cool down and quit worrying people on my YouTube channel. Mike don't have my phone number no more, but we talk to each other on, on uh, YouTube messing. You know, I'm just tired of the crap, guys. I'm seriously ready to walk away from YouTube. Hey, perfect timing. It's 11.14 p.m. You know, I don't get it. BYC, I'm, I'm the goddamn Terminator. Terminator, roll out the robot squad. They don't nobody fuck with rich life or road trip. I mean fucking business. No joke. I ain't letting people run me over around Whiteville. I'm not done nothing wrong to nobody, and I'm tired of being bothered by people. But I am in the process of selling everything in my house, guys. I'm I'm not lying. I'm I'm in the process of selling everything out of my house. And if the fucking people want to keep bothering me, they'll have a civil lawsuit on their hands if they don't stop bothering me. Yeah, I'm I'm moving. I'm in the process of selling everything out of my house. I have no other choice but to leave Weibel for good because people around Weibel wants to make me quit my YouTube channel and I ain't got the money to move but I'm I'm gonna be living in my van shortly. I got five acres of land up in West Virginia um on a private lot gated community and all but I talked to three deputy sheriffs and and four three or four uh judges and they said that these people need to grow up and quit stalking people. No I haven't had any luck on any kind of any kind of dating site. I claim I found a nineteen 99 class a um i found a 1999 class a um i think it's a coachman it's it's a marauder i believe it's in florida it's five thousand dollars and i ain't got the money to buy it but it's five thousand bucks and um it needs some tires the man said he would maybe go down on the price it needs some tires it needs some work done to it but um i would keep my van I would probably pull my van behind it. Maybe one day, Vapor. Maybe one day. Yeah. Um, I'm in the process of maybe changing my name, too, on YouTube. Um, If I change my name to something else, once I change my name, um, I don't know yet if I'm... I don't want to change my name on my channel. But the people know who they are. They know who they are. And they could stop this if they want to before it gets into legal action. All I ask is they fucking leave me the fuck alone. Quit stalking me on my damn YouTube channel. I don't go out looking for no trouble with these fucking people, you know. Okay, no. No, the subs don't reset. The subs don't reset. I have to say, guys, I've already been to a thousand subs. I've already run, I've already gone over a thousand subs on my channel already. But all the trolls and the people that's causing all the shit on my channel i've gone back down to 
700 and 700 and something. No, I haven't unlocked Super Chat yet. I don't have quite a thousand subs. You don't understand. My sub count went up past a thousand and then it went back down to a, um, down, down to 730 something, you know. I don't know. There's a bunch of people that had fake accounts. I can show you right now. I had a thousand subs. It shows, it shows I got a thousand subs right now, but I don't have Super Chat. But those have got 1300 and something videos, a thousand subs. Uh, but YouTube could be wrong. It could be off. YouTube could be off. I, I don't know. But these people need to back off and leave me alone. I'm not fucking with them just because I say girls was on drugs. They ain't got nothing to do with them fucking people. They don't like it because I talk shit about girls. Well, they need to get a life. They don't like it because I talk shit about my daughter's mom. They need to get a life because my daughter's mom ain't no kin to them fucking people. And them people's trying to get their self into a lot of legal issues with me and my family. My family's not going to deal with it. Just like dumpster junkies could have been in, could have been in really bad trouble with the court system. And we made we made friends. We had our differences. We changed our ways. And now we're friends. Just like big man and me could have been in the court system. Everything went different. We changed our ways. We all right. These people need to learn some respect, you know, they need to learn that they can't go around um threatening people just because they they have they have a gun. No, I have I have a big computer monitor in my office. Everybody's not gonna find out where my office at because I don't want nobody showing up at my office. No, I'm not telling nobody where my office is at. I'm not letting nobody know where my office is at. Nope. It ain't gonna happen. Just like the storage container that that my friends got. My friend said I can move into his storage container. It's got a front door. It's got a bathroom, a shower. It's in Wilmington, North Carolina. He said, "Man, you want to come stay here? Just just um help me pay the the light bill, and you can come up here." And that's where I had them them slot machines at. No joke. I got friends out there that help me. Then I got people that will help me deal with the haters and the trolls and the people around Weibel that's trying to cause drama with me. No joke. I got to go to court the 28th this next week. I got to go back to court on Tuesday. You know, I don't want no trouble with these people. But evidently, they want to fucking cause drama right on. They don't understand. I don't want no trouble. I've asked them nicely to fucking back off and leave me alone, and evidently they want to go to jail, prison, whatever, you know, I got a lot more evidence on them than they got on me, they ain't got shit on me, just because I said something about girls on drugs and shit, they ain't nothing they can do, good luck, that's all I can say, you know, hearsay is not against the law, I'm just saying that Everybody needs to slam her down and go their own fucking way. My mom told me, she said, look, just leave them alone. They'll leave you alone. I said, they ain't wanting to leave me alone, you know. I don't know if this is actually the people that's actually after me or is it people that's copied their names down and trying to cause drama, you know. And I'm getting ready to... Uh, I'm getting ready to get my felony taken off. Yeah, my receiving stolen goods felony that I got back in 2000. Because I bought a bunch of stuff at a flea market and the shit ended up being stolen. And I had no idea it was stolen. And I basically had to plead guilty to it, you know. And my lawyer is going to help me. He's going to take it off for me for free. F-R-E-E, -E, free. And then when it gets taken off, cocked and loaded, baby. I sure am. I'm going to buy an AR-15 and a Brita. And if anybody comes up here to my house and comes to break in, they gonna get fried like a piece of apple pie. No joke. I ain't gonna completely move out of my house, but my Hot Wheels collection and my toys and stuff, I'm gonna sell all them. I need the extra money and my credit. I like 200 more points before I could get a new RV anyway. You know, I'm asking these fucking people to look the other way and back off of me. I'm willing to go my way if they back off of me and I'll, I'll leave them. I've left them alone, but they still fucking coming on my YouTube channel saying that I'm bringing shit up. You know, I have, um, I have $50,000 worth of Hot Wheel cars. You know, these people just wants to add shit on. They want to add shit on with me and keep me and, and see what's funny is I don't I don't have no problem with these people they got a problem with me because they they're trying to get involved telling me I shouldn't be talking about my daughter's mom they ain't got no they ain't got no say so over that you know
Well, they're trying to ass kiss my daughter's mom and trying to protect my daughter's mom from me. You know, they need that. They need to tend to their own life. Straight up, being honest and respectful. They need to tend to their own goddamn gon shit and quit getting in my in my stuff because I don't understand why it's the problem, you know, the problem's been gone away, and then they pop back up on my channel today and cause drama, you know, here's a troll, here's a troll on my channel, sexy, sexy diaper baby, you're getting ready to get another one bites the dust, I don't know who you are, but you're getting ready to, to bite the dust, I'm trying to improve my life, you don't know me, I don't know who you are, but lately I've been having a lot of trolls come on my channel, and then you say you're not a troll, and then next thing you know, you are a troll, I got somebody on my channel blocked with your name, right now whoever you are silvers your last name silvers or whatever you call that or whatever i got three people blocked on my channel with your name whoever you are I, I don't know but why are you coming on my channel calling me a sexy sexy diaper baby i'm not a diaper baby Kelly, i tell you i don't i don't understand you you a weird person have you ever had diaper sex? Some of you fucking people are really weird. It's like y'all being shot off into space and, a, and aliens probed, probed you in the butt. Well, if you don't see me in a few months, you'll know where I'm at because I'm I'm getting ready to go into, I'm getting ready to, to, to quit coming on YouTube. No bullshit. I'm not playing this time. You know, people want me to, to get off YouTube and quit. I'm going to be taking a long vacation from YouTube. Um, I might upload videos, but I'm going to quit coming on live videos because of the bullshit. No joke. I'm not. I'm not playing. Too much fucking bullshit. You know, I don't, I don't want to give up what I love to do. It's, just, it's not working for me anymore. Too much danger. Too much, too many people causing trouble threatening my life, causing drama, you know, people trying to kill me, hurt me, you know, um, basically ruined my life on YouTube, you know, y'all wasn't on here earlier, y'all didn't see what people was putting on here from South Carolina, some dumb bitch kept coming on my, what, I don't even know who you are, and you're talking bull crap already, I don't understand what people worries about what I do, what I do in my house, what I do in my office is my business, you know, you know, it's just, just what it is, I might start streaming on Instagram, so that way nobody can come on Instagram, but if you know I'm on Instagram, you can come over, but that's causing drama if they come over to instagram i can block i can block them and ban them over there and they can't see shit here i block them they can still watch my videos and whatever you know yeah it's a way it's a lot harder to make accounts on instagram yeah that's right i do i care because i don't want the fucking bastards on my channel i don't I don't like people stalking me. I don't like people bothering me. You know, y'all should know me by now. I'm a drama-free person. I don't fight people, you know. I don't bother people. Seriously, I don't bother nobody. I don't fight nobody. I'm not going to fight nobody and get hurt, stabbed, and, 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 and die. No. I had a buddy of mine got stabbed in Chabern, and he bled out in less than 20 seconds, you know. These people need to realize I'm not looking for no trouble with them but the bad thing is if they continue bothering me i'm gonna have no other choice but to take action i'm warning them ahead of time they go their way i go my fucking way i ain't gonna keep warning them to me more time just like junior i'm not gonna keep warning him again and again and again who cares scully who cares now people just dramatize everybody i don't understand why y'all do what y'all have to do who gives a damn about somebody seeing a dick pic you know mark zickerberg ain't, ain't he ain't even con control uh a half a control of of facebook now did you know he sold half of his company out i reckon you don't know that brent um i reckon you don't know that he owns facebook but he sold half of his company out you know that's just like um sam walton he sold all of walmart sales sam walton he don't he, he right before he passed away he sold all his all his walmart chinese people on walmart's now chinese people american people don't want don't own walmart yeah but i don't know yeah i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure that's that's who that is because he's not in here tonight perfect time and say it's brandon you know i'm I'm willing to, I'm a, I have actually bothered these people at all. Just because I talk about shit on my YouTube channel does not concern their motherfucking goddamn ass. Straight up, what I talk about on my YouTube channel for the last three plus months does not concern none of them. You know, just like the hee-haw guy that came in my room last night. Yeah, yeah just like hee-haw. 
he hole. Whoever he hole was was a troll looking for information. Was asking me, was this a Rolex? I could go out and get a fucking Rolex if I want one. You know, I've had three real Rolexes and I didn't buy them. My ex-wife bought them. You know, I had one given to me from my friend at the pawn shop, a $2,500 Submariner that he got for a thousand dollars from somebody. You know, people think people think I'm rich because I have rich life of road trips on my channel. Psychiatry, psychiatry. You need to think about what you say on my channel, people, because I'm not rich. I'm not R I C A. I'm not rich. I live on I, I live on a little bit of money each fucking month. You know, I basically had lots and lots of money when I was younger. I'm not rich, subcolor. You're 12 years old. You don't you don't realize being rich. I'm not rich, dude. Seriously, I'm not. My brother's rich. My brother stays in a, a big house that's three thousand three million dollars. Um he's got two escalate um Cadillac Escalade SUV. He's got an Escalade truck. He's got a Cadillac car. Four vehicles. His garage is only a three bay garage and he keep he keeps two of them in the garage and the truck and the car outside. What's the most expensive thing I ever bought was a, the most expensive thing I ever bought was a Mustang. It was $30,000, but I didn't, I didn't pay the whole amount. Yeah, some color hits past his bedtime, but he, he don't care, you know. No, I didn't pay the whole amount. I paid, um, I paid like $8,000 down and financed the rest. And then it got repoed. It was a good thing I didn't pay the whole 30000 because it got repoed, you know. I got bad off sick, had to be put in the hospital, and it got repoed. It got repoed because I got sick. I had to get, I had to be put in the hospital. And my mom and my daddy, um, didn't want to talk the Ford Motor Company, I had insurance to make my payment up to like seven or eight thousand dollars, and they never wanted to talk to them, and they wanted to talk to me, and my mom and daddy would never tell them I was in the hospital, and it got repoed. I, I got out of the hospital and come home, and it was gone. It was repoed. It was a 20, a 20 anniversary edition uh, Mustang GT, a 2000 and something, I can't remember. I still got a set of keys to it somewhere around here. You don't understand. I was not staying with my mom and dad. I was staying in fucking goddamn Wilmington, North Carolina. Scully. You don't know shit, Scully. That's why you get on my fucking goddamn nerves, buddy. I was staying in fucking Wilmington. I was working a job. I got sick. Had to be put in the fucking hospital. My mom and dad did not know where I was at until it was too late. Damn. I don't need to tell you people shit about my life anymore because you, you drag shit out backwards. You know, Scully, Subcolor, Brandon, all you other people just act crazy sometimes. Only people that are right in here is dumpster junkies, per Perfect time and my um, big dog. Yeah, you know, I just don't, I, I don't, I just don't understand it. You know, people don't understand my situation. I, I have a dehydration problem with my body. And I had got real bad off sick and had to be put in the hospital, you know. And they wanted to know where I was at. And they couldn't get in contact with me. So they sent the repo man out to my, out to where I live and, and got my car, you know. And I keep telling people about my condition, but people, you know, I don't know. I've been thinking, I've been thinking the best thing to do is just walk away from YouTube. It's gonna come sooner or later. I'm just gonna fucking walk away from YouTube. Yeah, I haven't seen Susan in a while neither. Peach, what? What are you talking about, Peach? I figured I'd just walk away from YouTube in about a year. I'll come back with a class A RV some way, you know, because see, I was thinking something funny that I said, wouldn't well, be funny, just disappear off of YouTube for a whole goddamn year, and everybody think I'm dead, everybody want, uh, all the trolls and shit want me dead anyway, I just want to play like I'm dead, you know, then I ain't got to worry about all the crap. I have to deal with every fucking day, you know, I ain't got to worry about all the stalkers, the trolls, the haters, the crap, you know, yeah, it's crazy, my life, my life is fucking crazy anyway, people, people just love to fucking troll me, let's fuck with Rich Life Road Trips, yeah, let's, let's make him mad as hell, then he'll sign off, then we'll laugh about it, well, it's funny, it's if I disappear off of YouTube for good, and don't come back, then, see, that's what, that's what the outsiders did, the outsider, Charlie Green, he ended up changing his channel, he had so many trolls and haters and bitches and shit fucking with him and his girlfriend, uh, Erica. So much fucking bullshit, just like me. He changed his channel to something else, and nobody didn't know he was even on YouTube. They thought he was he was gone, you know. He's got like three damn YouTube channels now, you know. He added me on 
he added me on Facebook, you know. I didn't say nothing about letting the trolls win, Matt Moody. I said, I said, I don't give a fuck what the trolls do. Who, whose channel is this, guys? Really? Whose fucking channel is this? Is it mine or is it somebody else? Everybody out there, y'all got to quit bothering me so fucking much. Seriously. Seriously, I'm, I'm not going to keep taking this crap. I'm not going to keep taking it. I got rid of my turtles the other day. I sold my 55-gallon glass tank for $30, you know. Yeah, you're supporting me, but you y'all say a lot of crap that's really hurtful for me. You know, you y'all some of y'all say a lot of crazy stuff like subcolor and branding and, and scully. You know, I don't understand it. I just want to live a good life before I pass away. You know, I'm thinking about changing my channel to American Road Trip. I've already thought about it. I'm already thinking about changing my channel from Rich Life of Road Trips to American Road Trip. But I don't know. I don't know yet if I'm gonna do it. And then I. I was thinking about uh, changing it to something that somebody sent me in the mail. Seven rules of life. Fuck the troll. That's what I was thinking about naming it. My next trip is after the 28th of this month. After the 28th, when I go to court this next Tuesday, I'm definitely going out of town for a while. See, they don't have Junior. They never can serve Junior to pay. See, that's why I've already been to court three times. I went one time to, to, to file the paper, you know, you know. He, he's Ernest T. Bass. Ah, Andy Griffin, you won't never catch me. I'm Ernest T. Bass, you fucking bastard. <laughs> yeah, no, he was not there, Mike. I went there. It was 9.30. I went to the courtroom. The judge said, Christopher Harrelson. I said, here. He said, Mr. Harrelson, you can go ahead and leave. We can't find Junior. We can't serve Junior his papers until we catch him. So he said, come back up here the 28th, and if he's not served on the 28th, we'll just, we'll call you whenever we catch his ass. And Junior thinks it's a funny game. He thinks this is a game. This is, this is real life. This is real life. So whenever they catch him, they catch him. I, I don't know. This next time, I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, I'm going to automatically just sue the fucking hell out of him. I've already talked to my mom and my brother, and they said the best thing for me to do is take a civil lawsuit out against him. And these other people, if they don't leave me alone. You should, what? What are you saying, money order? Chris, you should bring your signed photo from your house. And what? Oh, I don't know. You know, I just want to be left alone, guys. It's these people's whatever their problem is. If they don't want to stop bothering me, I'm not going to keep dealing with it. Legal action is going to be taken out sooner or later. It's their fucking choice. If they, it's their choice if they want to go to court, you know. And they're going to be the ones that look dumb in court because they're the ones that threaten my life. Yeah, they're the ones threatening my life. I never said shit to them about um shooting them with a gun or anything because I don't own a gun. I don't have a gun. The only thing I have is a sword. Jump off and jump on PSN with me. SA, you're talking about, you're talking about Lizard Lick. I'm talking about Lizard Lick Garage. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's an autograph. Signed picture of Lizard Lick Garage. I was thinking about going down to Texas and meet up with Gas Monkey Garage and get some stuff signed with them. You know, I don't. I'm just trying to do the right thing, guys. I'm willing to let let be gone, be gone, be gone. Be, I'm, I'm willing to let things go my way. But what's funny is they want to mess with a man that's 50 years old that's on disability that has a, um, a nerve condition that's had a mental breakdown. Um, they want to mess with somebody that, that's had a whole lot of stuff going on. And the judge is automatically going to, he's not going to like people picking on some somebody on disability guys seriously you know you know i'm trying to warn these people they ain't going to win if it goes to court they ain't got shit to go on i got evidence i got more evidence of them communicating threats against my life you know and then the judge i told the judge that um there's no law against somebody saying somebody's name you know and the lawyer laughed about that he said he said that nobody can take anybody to court or store them or anything for saying somebody's name, you know. I just don't want, I'm just tired of it, you know. But if I disappear off of YouTube, I won't have to worry about none of this shit because then they can't come on my YouTube channel. They can't stalk me. They can't slander my name. They can't threaten me. They can't bother me anymore. And then they ain't going to know where the fuck I'm at. So they can't bother me at all, you know, and that's all they want. They want me off of YouTube. They automatically told, they already told my brother they want me off of YouTube, you know. You know, I'm not causing no harm. I'm not, I'm not a danger to nobody. I'm just living my life. 
one day at a time. You know, you're good night vapor. But people won't leave people alone until it goes too far. Do you go again right there, dude? I don't know who you are. Abby Rose. I, I, I don't know who you are. I don't know half these people comes on my room and just wants to fucking worry me up. I don't know. You know, if I go take a shit, why are you worried about if I go take a shit? Or piss, is it any of your fucking business? Seriously. All right, Trish. You know, I don't, I don't understand it. Why does people want to troll me and, and cause tr drama with me all the time? I don't understand it. You know, are you a what? I don't even know what you're saying. Oh, a vegetarian. No, I'm not a vegetarian. Sorry. See, that's what I don't understand. I don't come on YouTube to ask a hundred fucking thousand questions. I come on to socialize with you guys. And in the long run, I come on YouTube and I get drilled by people that, are you wearing a Rolex? Is that a Rolex? Are you rich? Is your name Richard? Dumb fucking shit. Just because I named my channel Rich Lights of Road Trips. My, my, my first name is not Richard. It's Christopher. I want everybody to quit calling me Richard, you know? And it's the same old crap every day. People's trying to pump me for information. Well, if you're rich, why are you on disability? I'm not rich fucking people. Damn. They stay. I'm not rich. I'm actually poor. I'm poor as shit, you know? But people want really want to troll my life and cause me nothing but trauma. People don't understand what I have to go through every day. You know? You know, I'm a good person. I'm a good fucking man. I don't drink, smoke, or do drugs. And I can't stand people that drink and drug and ruin their fucking life and ruin their body. I would rather have sex over drugs and drinking any fucking time. Now, people drink on uh, smoking marijuana, that's perfectly fine. It's a it's a plant that should be legalized all across the country. Marijuana should be legalized in all 50 states, you know, but one day it might be, I don't know, but I don't want to get caught with no marijuana in North Carolina and go to jail or even go to prison, you know. You know, I had a friend that had a bunch of marijuana plant in a condominium in Wilmington, and he almost went to prison for 50 years. Yeah, he had over 50 marijuana plants in a fucking condominium, you know. And you could smell his fucking, you could smell his apartment five or ten miles down the road. No joke, you could. And once it started stinking, the fucking law was a burning rubber to come to his apartment. I said, dude, you know, you, you crazy. Why the hell you got 50 goddamn marijuana plants? You know, he said, I really wasn't thinking, you know. He had 50 fucking marijuana plants in a three-bedroom apartment in Wilmington, North Carolina. Oh, yeah. He had them in the living room, the bedroom, the kitchen. He had all his windows locked up with tinfoil and shit over the windows where nobody could see in. And everybody knew there was fucking marijuana in there. You could smell it strong as a fucking um, tobacco farm. That place smelled like a pot, a pot farm. Yeah, and he was only doing it because this man... Uh, yeah, his girlfriend smoked marijuana like it was going out of style, you know, but you do shit to make money, and the only reason he was doing this shit was to make fucking lot of money, you know, it's the only reason he was fucking doing it to make money. Grow weed. Some people steal cars and chop them up. Some people reconstruct cars, which really should be against the law. Restruct, or restructing a wrecked car to all the hell should be against the law. You buy a car and it, then you find out later it's got a salvage title and it's been toiled to hell and back. Um, I bought a 1997 red fire on um, red Camaro one time and the whole front had been tore off of it even for the two front doors had been replaced it said it had electric windows cruise control tilt steering everything it didn't have nothing but roll down windows it was supposed to have electric windows electric lock and the car was completely reconstructed two brand new doors brand new hood brand new front end brand new everything and i ended up buying the car and when i found out the car had been restructed i took the car back to the dealership and this is a true story haywood county right where maggie's valley is in haywood county waynesville waynesville north carolina they took my 1995 thunderbird as a trade-in because it was paid for they took my car and they gave me this car and this car was fifteen thousand dollars you know and i didn't pay no money down on the car I drove the car off the lot. A couple days later, I found out it was reconstructed. The reason why I found out, a state trooper had owned the car. And he said, you didn't buy that car, right? And I said, no, I didn't. I didn't um I didn't know if I should buy. And no, this ain't the Mustang uh, money order. This is way back in 19, 1990. And this was a 1997 red uh, Camaro. And the state trooper said, 
you need to get rid of that car. That car had been tore to hell and back. I almost died in that car. And I tried to take the car back. It had been like two or three days. And the dealership said, no, sorry, it's yours. And I kept the car. There's no shit. I kept the car. I kept the car for a year. And I let them repo it. I said, come get the fucking piece of shit car. What's funny is my dad, my dad had gave me $1,500 cash guy my dad had given me fifteen hundred dollars cash i went down on um, it had just turned 1997 19 well 1999 and i went down to the choctaw casino in philadelphia mississippi this is no lie i got photos shit where i won money i went in that casino and the first jackpot i hit was twenty five hundred dollars on a quarter machine i hit triple diamond i had i had a dollar and i had i had two bucks in it i think a dollar or two bucks in it i think it was a dollar. Yeah, it was 50 cent for one spin or two spin max bet. So I think I had a dollar in it, maybe a dollar or two dollars. And it hit $2,500. $2,500. They come paid me my money. Gave me a big check. I, I got the video on my YouTube channel of, of the check, you know. And then that same, that same night, I was playing the machine right behind me. I just flipped over and started playing the machine right behind me. It was $2.00. Two dollar slot machine, two dollars coin with six dollars. Two dollars, two dollars, two dollars, two dollars. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, good night, Mike. So I'm there playing that machine, and I was only on that machine for about two hours, and I'd already got seventeen thousand dollars out of that machine. Yeah, I'd already got seventeen thousand dollars out of that machine. This is before I even got on disability, guys. I didn't have no disability. I was working for the city of Wilmington, North Carolina. You know, so I'm there playing. The next thing I know, it hit. It hit on $5,700. $5,799 is what it hit. It hit triple diamond, triple diamond, red seven. Triple diamond, triple diamond, red seven. $5,700. $5,700 and some dollars. And then next thing I know, this lady come over and she said, you might want to play that machine a little bit more. And I said, why? And she worked there. She was a maid. She was a maid and she had heard that machine was going to hit big as hell. And I said, what? What? It's probably, probably going to hit the three diamonds. And she said, I hear it's going to hit the three diamonds sooner or later. Three o'clock that morning, it hit triple diamond, triple diamond, triple diamond. $390,000. Yep, sure did. $390,000. So at the time of all this, I was living in Wilmington, basically living out of my vehicle, and I was $80,000 in debt. Yep, I was $80,000 in debt because of a girl stole my credit card from Sears and run up a lot of shit. He charged everything on my card. My card had had um, a big limit on it, and she put he put over $50,000 worth of shit on my card. And Sears came after my ass. Oh, yeah. This is a true story, guys. I ain't got no reason to lie. I can't even show you the court paper where Sears put a fucking goddamn judgment on me for over $75,000. Yeah, but same thing about it is, since the girl stole my card, my lawyer said, you're not liable. So it don't matter if Sears put a fucking judgment on you at all, you're not liable. So I had, I had the sheriff department. Yours truly, Columbus County Sheriff Department, come to my house about every fucking two weeks trying to collect money for me. And you know what happened? I said, get the fuck off my property or I'll sue your motherfucking ass. No joke. Even my daddy told him. My daddy told him the same thing and I told him when I moved into my house. And they come and they looked and looked and looked. Because see, they didn't know. Sears didn't even know where I was living at at the time. And I was living in, in Walmart's parking lot in Wilmington. And when I lived, I met when I got married, I met I met my wife on I met my wife on on um plentyoffish.com. Yeah, I met my wife Amanda Williamson on on a dating service, and we automatically started living together in Lisbon Town. No joke, behind turkey fried chicken in Lisbon Town. Um, she she didn't have nothing, so she worked for the, the DMV. My, my wife worked for the DMV and her mom and her dad didn't even know I had moved in with her. I was paying her internet. I was paying her water bill. And I was buying groceries and food and helping helping support us. All right, good night. Perfect time. And when her mom and daddy found out I had moved in with her, all hell broke out. Because her mom and daddy was Christian people and they wanted us to fucking get married. You know, he was like, her mom and daddy's like, 
If y'all gonna live together, y'all need to get married, you know. And we broke, we broke up, we broke up, and I ended up moving. I ended up moving into my house. I ended up moving into my house up in Weibel. She ended up moving back home with her mom and daddy, and it was a all war. It was all out war between between problems, you know. So her mom and daddy said, if y'all really want to get married, go for it. I, my mom and daddy told me straight up. They said, son, I don't think it's going to work out with her. She, she's 28 years old and you're 42 years old. Yeah, I was 42 years old and my wife was 28 years old. No bullshit. This is really a real true story, you know. And I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if it wasn't for... All the all the drama and bullshit that happened. When I wanted to stay married to my wife. I didn't want to get a divorce. But she cheated on me with a sex offender. Oh yeah. My wife cheated on me with a sex offender. Yep. On one Saturday I was supposed to go to a wedding. That was her cousin's wedding. And she didn't want me to go. And I said why is it you don't want me to go to this wedding with you? Well you got business to take care of in Wilmington. And at the time I run a... Uh, I had a uh, vending machine business at the bowling alley at Ten Pin Alley. I'm the guy that supplied all the socks, all the all the footy where the bowlers could go there and get a pack of socks for two bucks out of the machine. I'm the dude that stocked that machine up, and I was making pretty good money doing that because I sold them to the bowling alley, and um, and then I had to stock the machine up and all, and I had to go stock the machine up once in a while. And um, this was in 10, 2010. This was in 2010. He come on. He had a little dog. I think it was a sausage dog named Katie. The dog's name was Katie. There's a video on one of my channels where the dog Katie and my wife and me when we was living in my house here. You know, my house. And um, he and me was 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 getting along good. Everything was getting along good. And then next thing I know, she come out and she said, I found somebody else. And I said, what do you mean you found somebody else? And she said, I'm going to leave you. And I said, all right, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out, bitch. Go, go on. <laughs> I said, look, if you don't want me, fine. Get the fuck out. And I said, I'm not paying for no damn divorce. I said, all the money I've dipped into this marriage, I don't think so. So, um, he went to the courthouse in Weibel. She went to see a lawyer up there. What's funny is the guy's name is Kevin G. Williams. He's a attorney at the courthouse in Weibel. He's kin to her through her family. That's the weird shit. And I was like, why is you getting a lawyer that's kin to you to divorce up. And even the lawyer even called me and threatened my even threatened my life. Oh yeah. The lawyer, I even still got the threatening letter in there in my in my safe at my house, threatening my life. Saying if you do whatever or anything else, you know, because he ruined my credit. And even though we're divorced now, she's still ruining my credit because I'm still getting her shit at my house. I'm still getting shit from her, her bank. I get stuff from her insurance company sometimes. I get stuff from her people that she owes money for. And they used to call my phone. Yep, they used to call my phone, but not no more. And she even got that number now. I don't even have it got nobody calling that phone, but Richard New and special, uh, special uh, Ed Andrew you know, there's nobody calling that phone now, but a, a couple of my friends. And after that, I was like, I can't no wait to get, get my divorce. Because I even lost half my money when I got married. My check went from, from $800 all the way down to $600, you know. And now, since I got my uh, disability back, you know, everything straightened back out, it went back up over $700. You know, but she did me a favor. Yeah, she did me a favor by leaving me because she was 28, young and dumb. And now she's with another guy named Chris. That's the fucked up thing. She said, I don't never want to be with another guy named Chris in my whole life. And now she's married to a guy named Chris and she's going to have a baby for him. Weirdest shit I've ever seen. She said she never wanted to get with a guy named Chris ever again. And the guy she left before, his name was Steve. And then she throwed Steve down, the guy that was a sex offender. He throwed his ass down a while back. Now she's with a guy named Chris. She's supposedly married to him and going to have his baby. You know, she might already Already had the baby. I don't know, but crazy shit people go through every day in life. I, I don't get it. And and it wasn't because we didn't get along. It was just because she had a one night fling. She had a one night fling with this guy, and I don't know what it was. She she thought he was better than me. Which funny thing is, he wasn't 
quit bugging the fuck out of me for all the time she was with him. She'd call me up for money. I need $700. I'm sorry, I can't help you. She'd call me and say, I need $400. i am sorry, can't help you. I said, you with this guy here now. Don't call me. We're divorced. We're divorced now. Crazy, crazy crap what people do to people when they get a divorce or they get married or whatever. And when I got my new town and country van, a couple of days later, she called me and she said, how in the hell did you get a van that all that money? You ain't got that kind of money. Well, thanks to my brother, miracles does happen. Yeah, thanks to my brother, he bought me that van. That van was $20,000, $27,000. They're a $50,000 van brand new. It had $37,000 on it, but it was twenty. Twenty-seven thousand, and he got the dealership to come down to twenty, uh, twenty, I think twenty or twenty-one thousand something for the van, and he got it. So the van's mine, you know. And everybody picks on me and says, "Why is it I can't?" buy my own stuff. My brother looks after me. My dad told my brother when he was getting ready to die, he said, look, your brother's the only brother you got and your mom. Take care of them. And my mom and my and my my mom and me will get we get taken care of pretty fucking good. And there's a lot of trolls and haters and people around where I live or jealous because they ain't got no rich brother to buy them a twenty five or $27,000 van. They ain't got nobody to buy them something. They ain't got somebody to buy them something here or here or here. You know, people are downright jealous of people. Yeah, jealousy. And my brother is five years older than that. Yeah, he's 55. I'm 50. He's 55 years old. My mom's 75 years old. So I don't think my mom's going to be around too much longer the way she works out in the yard, you know. And everybody picks on me and say, you waiting for your mom and your brother to kick the bucket with where you can get all that money. Well, if I am, it ain't nobody's fucking goddamn business. I'm not waiting for nobody to pass away because I don't care. I'm not money hungry like everybody thinks I am. I could care less if I'm poor, rich, or anything. I've been poor all my life. I don't give a fuck about money, you know? I live off 700 fucking dollars a month. 700 bucks a month I live off of. And then funny thing is I keep some of my money for next month, so some months I end up with a thousand dollars, you know, but I'm not looking for my mom or my brother to kick the bucket where I can get rich, I'm not like that, I don't give a rat's ass about that, but a lot of people is running their fucking mouth, yeah, Rich likes waiting for his mom and his brother to die, where he can get all the money, no, I don't care about that, you know, if I did, I wouldn't be like I am now, I'm taking care of very, very good, people want to troll me, cause me drama, cause me heartache, trials and trebles or whatever. I ain't got to deal with it. When I want to go somewhere, I jump in my van and I'm gone. If I want to go to Florida this next month, I'm gone. I want to go to Mississippi, I'm gone. I want to go to Cherokee, I'm really gone. I can go any fucking goddamn place in the world and I'm be gone. And there's a lot of people jealous because I can jump in my van and haul ass and go anywhere I want. How many people you notice out there can do that? Not too many. And there's people jealous because I have a good life. I got a poor life, but I'm good, you know? And that's what it is. I don't know why people are so jealous over people, you know? Well, I'm going to get off of here. It's 12.33 in the morning, and I got... I got things to do in the morning. I actually got to go talk to a lawyer. Yep, I got to go talk to my lawyer that's a judge, you know. I ain't doing nothing to nobody right now, but the people that, that come on my YouTube channel don't fucking back the fuck off. I don't know. It'll be all on them if they don't back off. Because I'm not, I'm not the one causing drama. I'm not the one looking for trouble. I'm trying to live my life and have a good time doing whatever I like doing. I'm not looking for no shit and trouble for nobody. I'm looking to live my life like by myself or with my girlfriend whenever I have one but people need to back off of me straight up and I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to tell people this you know this is straight up it's it's what it is so it's whatever you want to do if you want this to go to court keep bothering me if you don't want no trouble move on because that's all I'm saying that's all I'm saying I'm not done nothing to nobody I come on my YouTube channel and I talk and tell people shit, you know, people say, well, he lies, and he does all this shit, and he talks about women, and he talks about this and that, I talk about the way I've been treated by girls, as it's not against the law, it's not a fucking felony, it's not a fucking crime to talk about past relationships, shit that's happened to me, it's perfectly all right, you can't, can't do nothing to people, but telling the fucking truth, you know, can't, can't fucking 
kill somebody because they know the truth about somebody you know so i reckon this video will probably get deleted when i get off because i reckon i'm gonna start deleting all my videos only videos i might not delete is one that i upload from some store or something or out on the grounds or out in uh, on the road you know that way you don't have no fucking trouble while nobody running their mouth and leaving any bad comments on my video you know and i ought to fix it where nobody can comment on none of my videos because that's all i've been getting lately is a bunch of bullshit all this is a bunch of shit on my video you know well, where you at where's your office at all this crap if i want to tell you where my office is at i tell you but I'm not telling nobody where my office is at. I'm not telling nobody where I'm at. It's my personal life. And I choose to live it the way I see fit. You know, I don't think people should know everything about me. You know, it's stupid what people already know about me. You know, they don't even look at my videos. Half the stuff that come on. Then I got people coming on here trying to say that money Money I find is not mine to find. You know, nine-tenths of the law, if you find some money on the side of the road, like if I was to find $20,000 on the side of the road in, a, in a, a backpack, it's mine. I don't give a fuck if you come along and say it's yours. You, you, you're just lying because it ain't going to be yours. You know, if I was to find a million dollars in a briefcase, if I was to come on here and say, I just found a million bucks, all you people out there trolls and haters would be coming out of the woodwork it's mine it's mine rich like that is mine automatically blind bunch of bull boys bunch of punk automatically you'd be thinking that's your money you know that's why i'm not going to tell anybody else if i find any money anywhere i'm not going to tell nobody shit i'm not going to tell nobody i'm not going to warn nobody ain't going to show shit you know and then the woman that was at food line today she told me to tell you guys something on here all the trolls and the haters that want to cause trouble. He said, did anybody else report my $317 when I lost my $317? Did anybody turn that shit in? No, fuck, they didn't. They put it in their pocket. So why should I turn the money in that I find? You know, if it's got a driver license or a credit card or a social security card, I turn it in. But if it's just money in a bag or a pair of pants, nine-tenths of the laws, it's mine. I don't care who don't like it or who don't like it or lump it or whatever. It's mine, you know. But I'm getting off of here. And she told me something else. She said the trolls and the haters can fuck herself. That's what she said. He works at the food line. Over here on the bypass. He said, she said, it's really like all them people to be wanting to bug you and troll you just because you find some money. You know, you lost 317 behind body shapers, you know, body shapers up here in Weibull. Um, and I went back to the parking lot to look for my money and I could not find it. You know, so somebody found my money. You know, they was happy as hell they found $317. You know, if I found $317 on the side of the road, I'd be a happy motherfucker. I'd say, oh my God, that's some gas money, a trip, and I'd be going to fucking Florida, you know. And then a few days later, I go to the beach and find 180 bucks in a makeup bag, and everybody's like, that's not yours to get. That's not yours to take. What, no address, no phone number, no ID or nothing in the bag. Just some wore out makeup, some condoms, and some band-aids and uh, some lip balm in the bag you know nothing important when i worked for the city of wilmington i used to find people's credit cards and atm cards up there on the on the street you know and give them to the office and they just cut them up you know people make a lot of shit out of nothing this day and time i, I really can gu guarantee people love to troll people for shit you know but i'm out of here good night